welcome to stories from the world this story is about jim and della and how they deal with the challenge of buying surprise gifts for each other on christmas with their very little money mr james dillingham young had a meager income of only 20 dollars a week so the name seemed too long and important but when he entered the furnished rooms his name became very short as mrs james dillingham young akadella put her arms warmly about him and called him jim jim and della were very proud of two things that they owned one was jim's gold watch which jim knew that no king had anything so valuable it had once belonged to his father and long ago it had belonged to his grandfather the other thing was della's hair and she knew her hair was more beautiful than any queen's jewels and gifts it was christmas eve 1 dollar and 87 cents that was all della had she counted it 3 times tomorrow would be christmas day and i have only one dollar and 87 cents to buy a gift for my gym i had spent so many hours planning something special for my gym and put aside as much as i could for months with this result what do i do now a tear or two ran down her face she put on her old brown coat and brown hat and moved quickly out the door and down to the street she came across Mrs. Sofroni hair articles of all kinds. Will you buy my hair? asked Della. Take your hat off and let me look at it, said Mrs. Sofroni. Down fell the brown waterfall. Twenty dollars, said Mrs. Sofroni. Give it to me quick, said Della. Della was on top of the world. She hopped from one shop to another to find a gift for Jim. She found it at last. It was a platinum pocket watch chain. I know it's for my Jim and no one else. It's just like him, Jim and the chain. Both have quietness and value. All good things are like this, pure and simple. She paid $20 for it and hurried home with the chain and 87 cents. Since his precious watch never had a fine chain, he looked at it only when no one could see him do it. But with this chain on his watch, Jim can now look at it and learn the time anywhere he might be. With her short hair, Della looked like a schoolboy. On reaching home, Della stared at the looking glass for a long time and thought, if Jim doesn't kill me, but what could I do with a dollar and 87 cents? At seven, Jim's dinner was ready. He was never late. Della held the watch chain in her hand and sat near the door where he always entered. When she heard his steps in the hall, she became extremely nervous. Every day, she prayed for little things, but today she said, Please God, make him think I'm still pretty. The door opened and Jim stepped in. He looked pale and very thin. He needed a coat and warm gloves to survive the cold. He stopped inside the door and looked at Della with a strange expression. It filled Della with fear. It was neither anger nor surprise. Della went to him and cried. Jim, dear, please don't look at me like that. I had my hair cut off and sold it. I had to buy you a gift, a special one. My hair will grow again. You won't care, will you? My hair grows very fast. It's Christmas, Jim. Let's be happy. You don't know what a nice, what a beautiful, nice gift I got for you. You have cut off your hair? asked Jim slowly. Cut it off and sold it. Don't you like me now? I am me, Jim. I am the same without my hair. 
You say your hair is gone, he said as he looked around the room. You don't have to look for it. It's sold, I tell you. Sold and gone too. It's a nice before Christmas, boy. Be good to me because I sold it for you. Maybe the hair on my head could be counted, but no one could ever count my love for you. Shall we have dinner, Jim? She asked. Jim put his arms around his Della. From inside the coat, he took something tied in a paper and threw it upon the table. Jim said, I want you to understand me, Del. Nothing like a haircut could make me love you any less. But when you open that, you may know what I felt when I came in. Della's trembling fingers pulled off the paper. At first there was a cry of joy, but soon it changed into tears. There lay the dazzling jeweled combs that Della had once seen in a shop. Without any hope of owning them, as she knew that they were too expensive. And now they were hers, but her hair was gone. She held them to her heart and said, My hair grows so fast, Jim. And then she jumped up and cried, Oh, you haven't seen your beautiful gift. She held it out to him in her open hand. Isn't it perfect, Jim? I hunted all over the town to find it. You'll have to look at your watch a hundred times a day now. Give me your watch. I want to see how they look together. Jim sat down and smiled. Della, let's put our Christmas gifts away. They're too nice to use now. I sold the watch to get the money to buy the combs. And now I think we should have our dinner. The Magi, also called wise men, were pilgrims who followed a miraculous star to Bethlehem and brought gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh to newborn Christ child. They were the first to give Christmas gifts. Some might think that Jim and Della were not wise as they sold the most valuable thing they owned in order to buy a gift for the other. But the author says of all who give gifts, these two were the wisest. Of all who give and receive gifts, such as they are the wisest. They are the Magi. Della sold her beautiful long hair in order to buy a platinum fob chain for Jim's antique gold watch. And Jim pawned his treasured watch to buy the jeweled combs for Della's precious long hair. True love is ever giving. This story teaches us the value of commitment and true love. If you love truly, your partner's happiness will always be greater than yours. It's an important lesson, especially in today's world of casual relationships. People move mountains for their one true love. How far are you ready to travel for your special one? Thank you for watching. For more stories, please like, share and subscribe. Stay blessed, stay safe.